Okay, he is a quite powerful but underrated tool, or at least I haven't used it as much as I should. And that's the bridge surface tool. So let's say we have two surfaces here, two sheets, and we can then blend together quite fast with the bridge surface tools. Look for bridge surface in the command menu. Click on one surface and drag to the other one. And here you see that something happens. And here you can play around with the options, with the width, obviously. If we type in a lower value, we get this result. And here we can play with the fillet and the chamfer. If we deactivate trim walls, the stuff which usually would be trimmed remains. But it's active by default. And here are a couple of options. You can experiment. I will leave it at both for now. It has merged the two surfaces and here you can see that you have a clean result. Let's see what we can do with two solids and see if we run the bridge surface command on two solids, two cylinders in this case. You can see that we can get an organic, cool looking, clean looking result quite fast. Let's type in a higher value. That's what we get when we overdo stuff. Gives us an error. Here's still too much. And if we press OK, we can see that it has automatically run a union boolean. So it's one solid now. And if we show the edges, here's the third situation. Again, two solids, a cube and a sphere. But here the bridge surface command acts different than in the previous use case with the two cylinders. Let's run the bridge surface and again drag from one object to the other. And it gives us an error. And it's because of these edges which are sharp. When I fillet them, when I give it a slight fillet. So let's run the bridge surface command after filleting. And it automatically has made again a union boolean like in the second use case. But you have to be careful in some cases it doesn't run the union boolean automatically and you are left with three parts. So two solids, the sphere, the cube and this connection. So you have to do some manual work. Be aware of it. In this case it worked fine. Of course you can use the union boolean right away when you work with solids but here is another use case for sheets. It's a quite powerful tool like I showed in the first use case. You can get great results quite fast. And here is another one. We have two sheets and one of them is a cylinder which runs into a, the other sheet. You can punch in holes with an automatic fillet or chamfer and in this case you can also play with these senses here you can punch in a hole like this what happens if we activate both senses we get this result so you can play around experiment and that's it these are the results of the bridge surface command